What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and last night was the MTV Awards, which apparently are still a thing, despite ridiculously, pathetically low ratings, giving uh, multi-millionaire celebrities uh, an opportunity to hop on their private jets and get up on stage and pontificate about climate change and how they're oppressed. Well, uh, gigantic, large woman... Uh, Lizzo, who probably is close to four bills, I'm guessing, decided to get up on stage and talk about how she's oppressed. Lizzo's net worth exceeds $10 million. And then we also had some other very, very bizarre uh, award speech, award ceremony conversations that I want to get into. This is a wild one. That after a quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. Bloodline Heroes of Lithus is a card based fantasy RPG in 3D realistic graphics where you can not only collect champions, build kingdoms, but also create legendary heirs of your houses by combining the forces of various bloodlines, such as orcs, demons, and dragonborn. And of course, with their new slogan, Legends Will Be Born. The game has a unique art style, traditional Western fantasy and visually stunning 3D graphics. You can choose your path by raising heirs with true companions from a vast fantasy world, customize your champions by marrying different bloodlines until you find a unique combination of any five powerful abilities out of dozens of traits that suits your own need for gameplay. You could build your own kingdom and economy and the game's free to play on both Android and iOS. Now help support the channel and try out a new game by downloading the game using the link in the description or the QR code you see on the screen. Use my link and choose your path in Bloodline Heroes of Lithus today. Use promo code BLDHOL2. Meet your true companions and create legendary heirs in this one of a kind epic fantasy RPG. Let's find the Daily Wire. Lizzo uses MTV award speech to claim that she's oppressed. Lizzo used her moment in the spotlight, probably takes multiple spotlights, at MTV's Video Music Awards to claim that the United States were, quote, oppressing us. The artist took home the prize at Sunday's event for music video for good. And despite admitting that she wasn't even sure what a music video for good was, she was immediately pivoted into talking about the power of a single vote and a call on her fans to vote and change the laws that were oppressing us. Now, I would like to know what law is oppressing you. The only thing being oppressed are those seam lines, okay? I would like to know what law is currently oppressing Lizzo, multi-millionaire recording artist, one of the largest platforms on the, on the planet, uh, what is oppressing you exactly? There's, I assume there's something, uh, long waits uh, at the, at, I, I don't really understand what you're oppressed with. I'm certain you took a private jet to get there as well. Uh, of course, the tweet getting absolutely destroyed in the replies. You see Kingman Lee writing, I love when rich people who clearly have had more than enough food to eat complain about oppression. Porter Black Garrett, name one, let's get rid of it. They also limit you to 50 chicken nuggets in several parts of the country. I mean, like, nobody, this is just like the most hilarious, which laws, 3,800 likes. Name one law at least, at least point people in a direction, 1,000 likes. We live in a world where celebrities who live a life of luxury, the majority will never know, preach about being oppressed, and people actually cheer as though if it were real. You're standing on stage at the Video Music Awards, a millionaire, and you're oppressed? Okay, that stage is definitely being oppressed, you see. So I think that's probably a reference to her girth. Um, it, it, it's like oppressed, bless her heart. In all fairness, I heard the Golden Corral is adjusting their platinum membership and no, her and her, no, her points will not be rolling over. If you think that's fair, then check your white privilege. Um, I, I mean, just like nobody in these replies, if you look at the quote tweets, obviously... Uh, she looks like a Pac-Man thing. I have a better dress design. Uh, nothing says I'm oppressed quite like being a millionaire pontificating in front of other millionaires. A celebrity worth $12 million who's so oppressed she can cry victim while getting an award at the VMAs as a chance to enhance her image. 
Now allow me to, as a fit, I can say these type of things, okay? This isn't necessarily Lizzo's fault. This is the media's fault. But I would argue that Lizzo and all the hilarious bending over backwards of the media does to tell everyone how she's healthy. Uh, and by the way, this, this body positivity stuff I want to talk about for a second. Uh, us men, we don't get to benefit from that. Right, you've seen the memes, right, where a, a, a obese woman in a swimsuit, and it's like Slay Queen, and it shows a guy with a big gut, and it's like, put your shirt on, bro. Um, the body positivity movement is not a movement for men; it's for women, and it is to normalize being obese. And look, I am obviously overweight, and it's not healthy, and I know that, and it's something that weighs on me every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, but like, I also am not using my platform to tell people that that's healthy and that they should strive to be like that. Everyone should always be trying to be a little bit better each day. Some people weight is something that they always struggle with. And, and, you know, we're going to have shorter lives than everybody else. We're going to not enjoy things as much. Um, it's just the facts. It doesn't make you a bad person. So like the idea of like body positivity goes too far as as like with normal things right i don't think being overweight makes someone a bad person i don't think that making fun of somebody for being overweight is exactly you know uh you know 400 iq move but like i also think it's very damaging of the media and others to continue to present this lifestyle as like healthy this woman is not going to live past 50 if she continues this down this path right she will not live long enough to enjoy all that money she's getting rained on if she continues down this path. Richard Cooper, imagine being a black female this well-fed, this rich, this famous, getting an award for awful music and still crying about being oppressed. Daryl B. Harrison, according to website Celebrity Net Worth, Lizzie has a, Lizzo has a net worth of $12 million. She is in no way oppressed any, by any objective definition of the term. What Lizzo is, however, is a tool, a tool of leftist celebrity elitists who are using her to propagate baseless narratives. 100% correct. That's not, you know, Grammy winning pop star and Joe Biden, Kamala Harris surrogate Lizzo, who last year bragged about how her bank account is so fat, used her MTV award speech Sunday to claim she's oppressed and begged fans to vote. Last year, the oppressed singer who has an estimated worth of $12 million bragged about her bank account being so fat and how she lathers herself in expensive oils and creams after being asked how she deals with being obese every day. I wake up in my obese bed. I have to get like a king bed because I'm so obese, Lizzo explained in an Instagram video while pretending to hold back tears. And then I put on my obese Louis Vuitton house slippers and walk into my massive obese bathroom and I just stare to my wall to wall obese mirror. I lather myself in expensive oils and oh God, blah, blah, blah. I'm super rich. Like, I, I mean, also she's a, a, a climate hard change, a, a climate change hardliner, uh, getting and posting on a private jet. Gross. Um, you know, she's just a tool. These celebrities are just tools, you know, and, and, you know, we have this, how about this? Overtly queer, former Disney star dedicates MTV award to all of the queer kids. Former Disney star Dove Cameron won Best New Artist. I had never even heard of any of these people. An MTV Music Awards Sunday during her acceptance speech to 26-year-old pop star, singer, actress, thanked fans for getting her overtly queer song, Boyfriend, on the airwaves. None of these people write their own music, by the way during her acceptance speech, uh, then it's so wild to be up here with so many artists that I worship. You know why you got the award? Is because then you had to say this. Cameron told the crowd, um, these are some of my all time favorite artists up here. This year has been so wild. I want to dedicate this to all the queer kids out there. Okay. And then you had Billy Eichner calls out Justice Clarence Thomas while promoting the first Gay rom-com with an all openly LGBTQ cast. We need to show all the homophobes like Clarence Thomas and, and all the homophobes in Supreme Court that we want gay love stories and we support it. These, these are all shows that will get canceled after one season. And then everyone will say like, 
oh my god why america doesn't want we're not getting enough money off of this and everyone's bigoted for not watching our show this guy is just another person that's entire entire personality is his orientation you know that's like you know that's their whole their entire career and by the way just so you know last year last year was the worst ratings in mtv music mtv award history and this year it's 17 percent 17 percent lower like if we look at uh, 2021 MTV VMAs get lowest ratings in history. Then this year, it's down another 17%. Nobody wants to hear super rich celebrities talk about how they're oppressed and tell us normal plebs what we're supposed to do. Not even, not even a, not even a surprise appearance by Johnny Depp, which was really the only thing that I saw trending on Twitter about it would be enough to save this. You see here, MTV VMAs bring booty, but not so much bounty with most A-listers didn't even show up. Because these people are, are just garbage. They don't, want, they don't want their viewers or their fans or whatever to live better lives. They just want to stay famous. And the way you stay famous is you say what the establishment tells you to say. We know this. And as more and more Americans tune out from this garbage and, and people around the world, I couldn't be happier. I don't care if they're just staring at a blank wall. It's better than watching this like government propaganda disguised as some sort of dance show. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.